Aloha. It's your favorite friend with questionable character. Aloha, Mr. Hand. And I'm back with a Collector's Corner. Obviously, you know Collector's Corner started during the pandemic as I decided to try and organize all of my memorabilia, which is a much larger undertaking than I thought it would be, to be quite honest, because there was stuff that I forgot about. But with it being October, with it being World Series time and Game 2 about to start in a bit, I figured why not throw a little, uh, do a little Collector's Corner with some World Series memorabilia I have as far as players that have won the World Series have had a significant impact in baseball and I believe all the players here are Hall of Famers as well so without further ado let me get started the first is from the man whose nickname is this month that is of course Reggie Jackson and I have here a 1978 World Series Baseball, which was the 75th World Series anniversary, autographed by Reggie with the inscription Mr. October. Because, let's face it, he was Mr. October. Uh, played in six World Series, well, his teams were in six World Series. He played in five of them uh, because he played with the Oakland A's in 72, 73, and 74 when they won three consecutive World Series titles. But he did not play in the 72 World Series because of an injury sustained in Game 5 of the ALCS against the Detroit Tigers. So he has three rings with Oakland. He goes to New York. Of course, we know what happened in 1977 uh, with his big night in 77. Yankees also won in 78. And then they lost in 1981 to the Dodgers. So he has six World Series under his belt, even though he only played in five. The other item I have for Reggie is a bat. Cooperstown monogrammed Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. And this is what's called a stat bat. So basically what you have here is a bat with his autograph with Mr. October and a And, of course, his stats, Hall of Fame logo, his stats, and a 44 with him swinging in that classic pose he had for a swing. So this is something, and, of course, monogram Mr. October as well. And you can, if you look closely in the J, the bottom, you can see the 44 in there, which was, of course, his jersey number with the Yankees. So uh, always a nice piece to have, always enjoyable, uh, always worth something. Reggie is a guy who... When you see him at autograph shows, he can go one of two ways. He could either be really, really cool or really, really cranky. I've seen both. So sticking with the month theme, if you have Mr. October, of course you got to have Mr. November. So there is a Hall of Fame autograph baseball from Mr. November, Derek Jeter, the 2020 Hall of Fame inductee who missed... Uh, having a 100% vote total by one vote, which some people believe was White Sox Dave who did it. I got news for you people. If you're mad at White Sox Dave for not voting for Derek, you're an idiot because he did that as a spoof. He doesn't have a vote. Just know that. So moving on. Now, of course, Yankees have dominated the World Series. So obviously it's a Yankee who has won the most World, World Series. That, of course, would be this guy, Lawrence Peter Yogi Berra, Mr. It Ain't Over it ain't Until It's Over, uh, Mr. I Haven't Said Half the Things I've Said, Mr. If You Come to a Fork in the Road, Take It. Uh, he has 10 World Series titles to his name. And also, a little known fact about Yogi is he was involved in the D-Day invasions in Normandy. Uh, served his country as part of World War II, and I truly believe, I have no basis for this, but I truly believe that helped shape his demeanor after seeing the horrors of what happened there. Sort of made him the jovial, could care less kind of guy that he was. Uh, how many World Series does he have? 10. Count them. 10. 47, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 56, 58, 61, 62 and has a couple more appearances in there as well he 
the Yankees lost to the Dodgers in 1955, lost to the Milwaukee Braves in 1957, team that had Hank Aaron and Eddie Matthews on it, lost to the Pirates in 1960, which was, of course, the Bill Mazurowski home run, lost to the Dodgers in 63, where Sandy Koufax just absolutely dominated the Yankees, and then lost to the Cardinals in seven games in 64. So, that's... That's, he was actually the manager of the 64 team. So that's a lot of a lot of World Series appearances there. Another guy who I've met, I've actually played golf with, who is a great guy that is always enjoyable to be around. Cub fans may argue about it, but is the Wizard, Ozzy Smith. And this is a 1982 World Series uh, baseball. Uh, like I said, Ozzy Smith is a great guy to talk to. Uh, had fun had fun with him. Uh, he was shocked at some of the things I had mentioned uh, about the Cardinals teams of the early 80s and some of the questions I had asked him. He's like, how the hell do you know this? Hey, I just know. Okay? Sorry. Now, we've talked about you know, great players. The next one may be the greatest the greatest player I ever saw play in person even though I couldn't stand him. But you got to give him credit where it's due. That's of course Ricky Henderson who has two World Series championships under his belt. And you can see that's a Cooperstown bat, Hall of Fame logo, Ricky name, class number that he, the class year that he's in, the number he wore. And then it's a limited edition 9 of 12. That's right, there were only 12 of these made, and I managed to get number 9. And there are some others that I've also, from this run, if you will, others that are limited to 12, that I've managed to get uh, bats for. Uh, Frank Thomas is one, Cal Ripken, uh, a Hank Aaron, I have one of those as well. But, you know, Ricky won in 1989 with the Oakland A's, and then unfortunately won again in 1993 with the Toronto Blue Jays against the beloved White Sox. Uh, the, a series that still frustrates me to this day, especially especially with Gene, some of Gene Lamont's managing, one in particular being refusing to have Steve Saxon is a pinch runner because you might need him in a, an inning later or something like that. It's like, well, you need to score now or it's too late, but whatever. So last couple of items are very special to me because they represent my favorite player, my favorite team. First is my favorite player, Johnny Bench, a two-time World Series champion, including the 76 World Series MVP. You could see that there. Uh, his inscription for the 76 World Series MVP. Uh, this is a career stat ball where I have every, he's put everything he could on here. Uh, you know, 14, you know, 10 time Gold Glove, 14 time All Star, uh, 68 Rookie of the Year, 68 MVP in 70 and 72. Just my favorite player. I got that done once. I love it. It's proudly displayed. And then the last item, which is all also proudly displayed is my favorite team, and it is a White Sox team-signed 2005 World Series ball. You can see all the signatures there. Let me turn it so you can see. You know, like, it. it's hard to go through. Of course, right on the sweet spot, maybe the future manager of the, the San Diego Padres, Ozzy Guillen. You can see this is a a ball that is labeled, uh, was it three, 350 of 350, so only 350 of these were made. I managed to get my hands on one, uh, authenticated right there, obviously, uh, through Steiner Sports. So, of course, this is proudly displayed as well. Perhaps October 26, 2005 is the greatest sporting event that ever happened in Chicago history. I don't want to hear shit about the Cubs or anything else. Go fuck yourself. But it is also my one regret as a sports fan because I had, I drove by Midway Airport that morning. I should have turned into a parking lot and boarded a plane and flew to Houston. The company I worked for at the time had offices in Houston. It would have been perfect, but I didn't. And I vow that to this day, I vow, if the White Sox are on the road and have a chance to win the World Series, by hook or by crook, I will find my way there. So that's what I got for you now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or if you want to see if I have something that I could display, an autograph or something like that, I would love to. 
let me know. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. And aloha.